Hello YouTube and welcome to my next tutorial on how to make your own labels. I am starting off with my supplies, my papers, some papers out of an agenda, a to-do list and maybe some coffee or tea dyed papers you can use. Um, I am using the stamp labels from the Field Notes stamp set from Tim Holtz and I'm starting off with some neutral colors, um, the jet black and I'm going to use the watering can and the coffee from the archival inks. I am placing my stamps in such an order that I am seeing the words on the background or the numbers on the background. And that is to make the best use of the papers that you have. Let's start uh, on the background. Uh, I am searching for multiple uh, stems that are uh, cohesive and matching. And I am going to make um, a pop of red first because I really uh, think that color speaks in a project. And um, after that, I am going to look for a great background uh, color just to fill in some uh, space and that is the freight burlap uh, it's a very neutral tone uh, not very um, in front of your eyes so yeah great for in the background Maybe you already noticed that I am using parts of a stamp and not the stamp in total. Um, it is uh, that I choose the piece of the stamp that I really like and I really want to see in my papers. And that is the piece of the stamp that I will push into the ink. And if you push uh, other parts in the ink that you do not like, just wipe it off. You can also see it over here with the number stamp. Um, I am stamping the numbers like maybe the 617 at the end or maybe the front piece of the stamp, the NO, the number, and then maybe the 0 and the 4. And just play a little bit with the left and the right side of your stamp and your ink pad. You can use a wide range of colors for this project. Uh, so you will have labels that will fit any kind of project that you are making and you want to add them to. Um, and that is the nice thing of the archival ink minis. Uh, they come in sets of four and um, yeah, you can mix and match them up the way you like and make the most use of it. Do not doubt that some colors will not match because uh, when you look at the end result of these labels, they are very, very colorful and fun to see.
In the first batch I stamped the labels with just black, grey and brown color. So right now the second batch is going to be colorful and I'm going to stamp the labels with all kinds of colors. As you can see, I am using paper uh, that is from uh, a weekly planner and it has two sides, one with all the days of the week and the other side is with notes and a to-do list. And I'm using all the words or numbers in my advantage and I stamped around them. The stamping that I'm doing over here is exactly the same that I did in the first batch of labels at the beginning of this video. In this video I am stamping with the Tim Holtz Correspondence stamp set, but you can also make a batch of labels with the Field Notes stamp set as I'm showing you right here. I thought it would be fun to keep the labels in place by making a cute little envelope to stack them in. The envelope you see right here is already done and is made in the postal theme. Uh, I used also the postal colors for me that is red and some blue. I am starting off with some regular printer paper that has already been tea and coffee dyed. I want the envelope and labels to be matching so I'm going to use the field note stamp set again and I'm choosing the colors which are a little bit like uh, neutral to me and outdoors. I am going with some green and some frayed burlap and some wild honey. You can see I made an outline with a pen and I am cutting it out right now with my knife and ruler. It is supposed to be a frame uh, which later on will have some, some vellum behind it. Of course I also want to age my paper. I am using the archival ink coffee color for that. Uh, I am going uh, along the sides of my paper, the edges, and do not forget to also touch the inside of your frame. You want that to be aged too. And then it is time uh, when you have cut out your piece of vellum just to glue it down just with a couple of drops of glue. And after that, I'm going to stitch around the paper like this. 
Right now I'm going to work on the closure of the envelope. I got out some regular red uh, paper, uh, almost the weight of printer paper, regular printer paper. Uh, only red, mm, yeah, it's a bit uh, boring. So I decided to put a stamped image uh, in the middle of the red uh, circle. And uh, the red circle is just two pieces of uh, paper glued together. And you can see I am roughening up the edges. And I'm also going to ink up the edges for a nice rough and aged effect. Now it is time to fill up the envelope with the cute little labels, get some string out, wrap it around and tie it off. Also this tutorial is coming to an end and if you like this video please like, subscribe or comment down below or you can even become a patron of mine. Thank you!